Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect, where in the previous episode we continued on with construction over on the left hand island here, the low and medium risk island, and managed to get some improvements made across the board and also the workshop partly built. We have a workshop saw, workshop presses, and a radiator in the middle to keep them warm while they toil away for almost no money. But at least the money that they get, they will be able to spend now in the shop, which is good. I also should probably go ahead and actually assign some people to that workshop because I hadn't signed prison there, but whoops. And, uh, <laughs> and speaking of other mistakes, there's also I was uh, confused a bit by the transfers. Because I altered the maximum security transfers to not have any programs passed, it puts it down to um, 6 out of 6 required, whereas this one it is actually 6 out of 7 because we're saying programs passed 1. So if we turn that off, it will be pretty much as the same as the middle island here. Or I could keep it on and say, actually, you need to do all seven, which means you will never, ever be able to move from this uh, Supermax Island. Now, I'm not a big fan of that. The whole point was to try and do the transfers, and I think we could probably do that. So if I turn off that one and review the transfers, you can see that we now are able to transfer these over. There's actually only one cell available, so I could say... Let's just pause it here. Prisoner Crease, uh, we can see they are legendary. Uh, prisoner Main, who actually don't have any traits. Same as Doyle, they don't have any either. So I'm actually going to approve Doyle there to transfer over to high risk. And there we go. Some of the Supermax prisoners, even if they qualify, I may, and this is only may, not move them over. But we'll see how we get on. Nothing's set in stone there. And just checking up. That really doesn't scroll very quick. Uh, and then you can see uh, one prisoner directly transferred to MedSec. And we we can transfer Doyle straight away to medium if we wanted to. So they've jumped from Supermax over to medium sex straight away. Wow, okay. That's uh, pretty good. Anyway, in this episode, in terms of construction and continuing on with the series, we need to, for a start, put a couple of uh, bits in there. And that prisoner is strangely in solitary where I don't think they can actually be. Uh, let me just double check because I'm guessing... Hmm... Okay, have no idea how that's occurred because they shouldn't even have access to this, but I'm not going to argue with it. Let's just move on. Uh, so we have our cells over on this side here, and we do want to go to quick build and clone, and we want to start cloning these as we move up. Actually, what I'll do is clone the wall there, and it'll allow me to basically just build a couple more like so, and then it means obviously we're not building the wall, but it means we're putting the door in as well. So there we go, and that's pretty much all I can do at the moment. Now, that because it's going to take quite some time for prisoners to transfer over obviously we do uh, have enough basically wait time to sort the rest of it out these cells are obviously the medium risk cells which will be built up from the bottom to the top or top to bottom uh, actually no it is the former because we've already completed the bottom part but we do also want to start to grade them later on so some of them will have more things in there like radios and some desks and that sort of thing but as always we'll see how we get on in terms of deployment it is all set up either with a custom sector like most of this or it's been set up so that this one here is just the medium in terms of patrols we do have patrols going around here these are actually solitary so that's all fine all Although that's for some reason intersecting there, not a big problem. And I just double check that that is actually staff only up there as well. Cool. So there's only one bit that we need to build really in terms of foundation, and that's on the left hand side. And this is going to be our low risk. Uh, cell block, which quite frankly is mainly a luxury thing. So. At the moment, we have all of these cells in here, which are graded as such. However, the other cells on the other side will be higher graded. Now, that does alter things slightly, because if we were to, for example, grade all these slightly differently and have higher graded cells up here, there will be very little reason to transfer over to the low sec because at the moment the low sec and the medium sec has access to both of these yards and the gymnasium and the common room so i mean would it really matter in fact if we check out our oh there's a death there if we check out our logistics here we can see that the min sec is actually lower than the med sec now that's only because there's no hot showers and we haven't actually got any cells in there but once we do it will be the same grading so we either have to alter the grading or access rather for the gymnasium or the common room, more likely the gymnasium because it's not a necessary thing. 
uh, and have it so that only say low sec are allowed that or we have to sort some of the grading out it's a thing that we have to look at later on uh, there has been a death there and I'm not entirely sure where I'm having a quick look around but I'm not seeing it um, let's have a quick look here it did say one deaths recently and I'm not seeing them actually you know what? just check the morgues check the morgues no no it could have could it have been over here it's it's certainly possible although not very probable oh well oh there we go there is that prisoner there it says salmon young they served 28 out of 28 years they filled the parole hearing but they'd finished their they finished their sentence and they just disappeared because of course they did okay cool right so continuing on you can see we have got negative cash but we have got positive cash flow which is fine we have two death row inmates john wirtz and ed lee in terms of our prisoner capacity it is increasing but only in the low uh, the medium risk sector medium security is nine and we have a capacity of eight that's it there so we're actually over capacity there but we are building the rest of it so it shouldn't be a problem we have 83 maximum security prisoners and a maximum capacity of 84 so we are going to receive one obviously death row is open let me just double check the intake there so death row is open legendary is open supermax is not and if we check that we can see that we have 22 maximum security prisoners but 28 capacity so it may be worth bringing in some more supermax prisoners just to fill the place up and you know that just gives us more money and I think that's a, a decent thing to do over to our informants here and I'm just double checking to see if there's any I was going to say if there's any traits over here that could be of some concern and I really wouldn't know because it's too troublesome to actually see I'm going to activate Dan Welsh here and we'll see if we can find out there's one trait there that was a question mark and no we've got the two people being targeted in the protective custody obviously all the prisoners up there that we're aware of and then down here there's nothing that's being targeted so we will just say yeah thank you and deactivate them we're also going to go over here we can see there's a confidential informant in solitary none of them in there actually let's see what are these in solitary for it has been Recent misconduct, pretty much everything on the list there. You've got destruction, escape, attempt, murder, attacked staff. So, yeah, it looks like the person around here, or the person that died was. What a surprise from our maximum security wing, which, to be fair, we did indeed <laughs> expect. We have got three grants on the go. The grants are in no particular order, other than the exact order listed on the left-hand side. Reform through education initiative, which has uh, 10 prisoners pass education course, the foundation one. That's 70%, so only three more to do that. And then one for the general, so hopefully we'll be able to get that done. We also have the prison manufacturing facility to produce 30 license plates, and then cell block D, which has raised prisoner capacity to 200. Now, it's unlikely that we'll ever get that done we also have the event at the moment which is the agitating radio broadcast so we need to make sure we don't have any radios which i think there's one or two in here but quite frankly nothing of any great note in terms of grading i'm don't know whether i want to change this up here there's a taser there uh, going off and it seems to be that this guard has been assaulted by Sean Mitchell there. You can see there, they are a legendary prisoner. They really are because they have, you know, extremely everything. And, oh, we've got another fight breaking out here. This is James Blake who has been tasered again after breaking their shower. And there you are. Over to staff and we have 43 guards. So I would like to get a couple more, but we just don't have the money. Although in uh, 30 seconds we should have more than enough anyway as i was saying about the grading supermax grading you can see is only 65 whereas the max sec is 111 we could increase the increase the size of the common room or rather increase the items that are in there i mean what would be best to to alter this i don't really know you can see that person's using the phone booth um I've always wanted to make this a little bit bigger because, quite frankly, it's just got a lot of sort of space around here that I would potentially like to alter. Maybe a couple of gym mats would be good. It caters for the exercise need. The question is, in terms of needs, are there any 
big needs for exercise. Well, we've only got the yard, so maybe some exercise mats, some gym mats would be worth it. I think so. So we'll put it to max speed, and we'll wait until it is... Uh, well, we have this intake, which we should get right then and there, which is good. So we're going to put some gym mats in like so, and just sort of stagger them because we have this space, and there we go. That should do it. We also, to be fair, don't have any prayer mats, so maybe actually get rid of some of those gym mats, and on the other side put prayer mats, and that would fulfill those needs as well. And I don't have the money. That's interesting. Where's all that money being spent on? Ah. Oh. They are, because of the cloning, the way it builds, it's uh, actually built, spent on that. Okay. The radio host apparently fired after a lot of complaints, so everything's back to normal. Not that we noticed any big difference anywhere. So I'm going to go over to our, I think, grants, and we'll take out another bank loan. Obviously, that is going to hinder us somewhat in the longer term because we're getting a much higher um, interest rate to pay a much higher interest, but it's not a huge issue, I don't think. Over to our informants here, and we can see we do have some traits on these new prisoners, but hopefully nothing of concern. But I will do a, I will do a little chat with. I think I'll have a chat with Matt actually this time. Matt Morgan, he he's the guy that knows stuff. And oh right, okay, we do have someone fighting here. We have this prisoner, Andrew Hughes, seems to be fighting... Uh, currently, they seems to be just punching the guard, although I think they were attacking the door there, yeah. So I wonder what's happened there. This prisoner, it says, misconduct attacked staff, and this one is destruction and attacked staff. The prisoner in the centre here, it says destruction. So I don't know why that has occurred, because as far as I'm aware... None of these, no, there's no traits that they have that would really cause that. Like, there's no traits that would be, for example, that, that prisoner's been released and they're just waiting for the helicopter ride out. Yeah, there's no traits like um, instigator, so I'm not really too sure what's occurred there. And the warden wants a call. And let's have a quick chat. So, one of our more charismatic inmates has become something of a religious evangelist, and others seem to be coming around to their way of thinking. Not necessarily a problem, but our prisoners may soon have more spiritual needs. So, does it actually tell us which one? I think it did sort of focus around here, didn't it? So, I mean, we could check out some of these in terms of... Uh, it's not shown on the left-hand side. Aid incident reports, no. Oh well, fair enough. So we may have more spiritualist needs. Although it looks like other needs are being fulfilled in the church there. Right. Well, we do have chapel, so hopefully that shouldn't be a, a massive issue. Still waiting for our inmate to be escorted, or it says en route. Matt Morgan there. They're obviously not en route. None of these seem to be working at all. How many guards do we have free? We do have guards free. Got 11 guards free. So they should be escorted. Okay, this is James Brown being escorted now. And we can see that we have a couple of items to be... Well, it's been stashed or thrown in or whatever. A couple of people targeted. But that's pretty... Yeah, that's not really a problem. It's pretty okay. Tough, extremely volatile, and extremely quick is a bit of concern. Anyway, we will unpause that and let it crack on. We have uh, prisoner Paul France here, who is currently misbehaving somewhat, punching their really poor bed, and probably not improving it by punching it, but then again, I'm not an upholsterer. You can see their... Oh. Looks like they're checking out. Um, yep, that's that's happened. That's why we have free fire on uh, in the supermax area. Uh, let's turn off our intake then. So over to our intake and turn off our supermax intake. But max sec we do want to keep on. Same as legendary prisoner and indeed the death row. Death row status 16% for John and 24% for Ed Lee. In terms of cash then, we are all right. They are... Oh, looks like over here is being built, which is fantastic. That's what we want. Going to all go over to quick build and then cloning once again. And go one, two, three, four, five. And that is all of the remaining... All of the remaining... Um, 
rooms for that side naturally we do have to put some plumbing in there so we'll go ahead and do that so hot uh, this is a hot water pipe we don't need that the small water pipe which where how are we going to plumb it in how do we do the other one the other one is just basically ran straight up and down and we'll probably be able to do the same thing so i guess we could do that although if we wanted to we could also just sort of bring it off here and then straight down what's the distance what's the maximum distance for the pipe well that's a 34 from there and going up there it is 54 so there's a lot more to go that way and i don't know exactly what the maximum reach of the pipe is so i'd rather just play it safe and then do that which should function you can just connect them up to both sides that is a possibility but i've had some issues in the past admittedly in older builds where when you have pipes intersecting um off from the main one you can't you know it did get problems there i assume that it's not really an issue now but there's no reason to tempt fate we can see that we have some prisoners hmm we're temporarily well, today's beverage is green tea by the way temporarily working in the workshop but that didn't last very long <laughs> i wonder how many prisoners we actually have that are working in that one let's check out our logistics here in prison labor max jobs 21 qualified prisoners are two so we do have prisoners that are qualified to work there which is pretty good happy with that over to our transfers then and no prisoners are qualified to transfer apart from a supermax prisoner however i assume perhaps wrongly that the supermax we could approve it and do we have the cell capacity we do and we will transfer those over and then immediately it's going to say do you want to transfer them to <laughs> do you want to tra transfer them over to the medium sec and i really don't think so see that's the problem i guess that death oh an overdose really wow i mean the infirmary's right there, and all the doctors are just sort of sitting around. We may not have had the right amount of guards. We'll get a couple more guards there, but we do have the right amount of doctors. Curious. As I was saying, the problem with our transfers, then, is that the criteria is exactly the same for maximum and supermax. So, do I want to either alter the programs for supermax or we're not or not allowing them basically or do we want to make it uh, easier to transfer from maximum to medium we could say programs passed but the problem with that is how many programs are we actually running not many okay for now I'm going to turn on programs past. Uh, actually, no, I'm going to turn that off. But allow prisoners to transfer from Supermax to Max Sec is going to be off. So prisoners cannot transfer from this place. So a reform is just not a thing that happens over here. That's to be changed possibly in the future based on, you know, how many prisoners from here transfer over. But having them the same doesn't really sit right. So... We have to do something there. But we'll see how we get on. We may, like I say, turn that back on and then alter this one so it's a lot easier to transfer. But we'll see how we go. Anyway, in terms of our prisoner population, we now have a 9 in medium security, which is pretty good. And I'm going to assume that some of them may be wanting to transfer over. Or no prisoners are motivated, so they're not even going to do that. Yeah, I have a feeling I have a feeling that was going to be the case. Obviously, all the programs uh, are turned on, so it's actually hard. It's easier to transfer from high sec to medium than medium to high. So I don't know if that's the wrong way about it. We could, if we wanted to, turn off things like mail deliveries to, to these other prisoners. Where do we have mail over here? Do we actually have mail over there? I don't think we do. So I think we'll turn off mail to both the high risk and the supermax. Prison labour will keep on for both um, and all programmes, work, education and well-being is on for the rest of it. Visitation will keep on. So basically in order to get any prisoner mail then you know you have to have um, you have to be of law or 
medium risk. We haven't altered the misconduct policy for them. We've settled with that. It seems to be all fine. And the meal quantity and variety we also haven't altered because it'll probably cost so much. It's nice that we can do it, but we've never really had the great need or desire to alter all of that. We can see we have almost these cells completed, which is good. We have a prisoner who is just sort of sitting around there. I'm going to assume then, hang on, staff, go right to the bottom. Where are they? Ah, they're actually heading back. So the foreman was, I assume, was going to be training over here. What is that prisoner doing? It doesn't say. They're just sort of standing there, waiting to be searched. <laughs> um, and I don't know who's been ordered to search them either. There's Prisoner Doyle. Christopher Doyle. Escape attempt, attack staff, found weapons, found drugs. Wow, okay, fair enough. So we still haven't produced any license plates, and that may be an issue with this area as it stands, because... There's no real place for the form, and it, it takes quite a while to, to get there. Anyway, we're going to do a full shakedown on every place in the island. That's uh, 910 places to search. So we'll see how we get on. Looks like this is now finished, which is pretty good. Happy with that. In terms of cash, though, cash is not brilliant, and I would have thought that we would have produced some license plates by now. I'm going to check our programs here. So, five interested, four finished, four passed at 100%. So that's good. Foundation education. We should be running two of those, which we are. Parole hearing, we're running parole across the board. I'll check that in a moment. Spiritual guidance is on the go, but we should probably run another one of those. I'll have to alter the Settings in a bit. Kitchen safety and hygiene, we've got 10 interested, but we're not going to do it. Calm tree apprenticeship, you can see we also have one interested, but we're not going to do that. Pharmacological treatment, drug addictions there, and 9 in the queue for alcoholics group and guard taser. So we're going to turn on all of those, reschedule, edit the schedule then. So guard taser is going to happen in the custom classroom, that's fine. We've got death row peel, death row peel. These are all, these are all pinned anyway, so I'm happy with that. And foundation education for both of these is good. The workshop safety is fine. Spiritual guidance is fine because it's set up for both the max sec and the spiritual guidance in the chapel. Yeah, and then common room. Ah, max sec, which is alcoholics group. So actually, the game has set up pretty much exactly how we wanted. So we'll give a credit. Credit where credit's due. Although, sh should you give credit for just doing the right thing and working? <laughs> I guess we'll take... Uh, any small victory we can. So, continuing on with the searching, over 600 places have now been searched. Not a great deal of contraband, Cert certainly nothing to get in a twist over. You know, we've got a couple of cell phones, a bottle of booze, a club. You know, it's it's not as if they're having power drills or shotguns, revolvers, you know, whatever. Uh, Cal Gustav anti-tank rifles. <laughs> the lot. Danger level increasing, though. Which is concerning. Staff morale is also quite low. Let me double check all of these. I'm guessing they just want to be paid more. Not paid enough. T staff have died on duty and staff have serious complaints. And that's a tunnel of smelling down there. Just the one though, so I don't think it's a, a big problem. There's a warmth need because it's currently 5 degrees. Well, that's lovely. That's shorts weather. Shorts and sandals even. There is a fairly big clothing need. And this has always been a bit of an issue. I think realistically, a couple more janitors are required to finish the laundry. Because the laundry itself, the physical size of it, I think is fine. It's just the actual laundry itself is not getting done. What I might do is add some more laundry baskets in. It seems to be there's a bit of a shortage. And hire another couple of janitors. 
Because you can see they're always off doing something. There's always something to clean. This this whole place, remember, doesn't have any cleaning cupboards. You know, it's all cleaned by the janitors. So I think that is is indeed worth it. Going to check our utility. Ooh. Adam Henderson and the guard there have been killed. Murdered by a prisoner. And that says, murdered by... So hang on. Who's killed them then? Because that person, the guard was murdered by a prisoner, and so was that prisoner. Ah, Mitchell here. Ah, yes, Sean Mitchell, who's currently got a set of keys. And it does say, murdered by a prisoner with jail keys. I'm going to assume, perhaps wrongly, that he's the perp. And... Good grief. Yeah. They're using a set of keys, and have just gone through three people with shotguns. And they've now been killed. And now Prisoner Clark has got a set of keys. Okay. Guard response over there. I do need to hire some more armed guards then. Uh, right. There's two more armed guards. Are they going to stop? No, they're not. Now they are. Wow, okay. This is quite a dangerous place. Minus two grand per day. We've only got three grand. Looks like one of the death row inmates has been transferred. That means that we are in a bit of a pickle. We don't have the capacity. So what I'm going to do is check out our transfers. And one prisoner is able to be approved. This is prisoner main who, to be fair, did originally come from Supermax. He can transfer down, which means we should now be at uh, capacity, which is fine. And what is going on here? What on earth has happened here? We have a huge fight kicking up. Legendary prisoner there. Well, that, that person's immediately getting put over to Supermax. Volatile. No, a tough, deadly, and extremely quick. So, it's just kicked off, basically. Sadly, these snipers are not in the right tower. And now we've got New Batty, who's attacking down here. And, see, they're, they're stoical. They have no reason to attack. There's, there's no reason why they would be attacking. Their condition and mood is such that it's either normal or good. Bits of press there, but that's not a problem. Not come suppressed, yes. Security is really low, though. And reform's absolutely garbage as well. Punishment's high. Could be to do with the guard morale. Um, they're not being... They're not, well, the security's gone down because of it. I'm not too sure. Anyway. That's something I really didn't want to see. We are receiving a legendary prisoner shortly, which is good. And... Honestly... I'm turning on our mid-sec. Bringing. Something I didn't want to do. The whole point was to transfer. We take them from here move them to here but we can't do that if we don't have any money and we won't have any money if we keep having these issues and also not getting more inmates so we're turning on everything supermax medium sec the, the lot we just need more people in here um so we'll, we'll go ahead and do that right Obviously, shortly, going to go to bankrupt, but we are going to get 37 grand. 25 grand of that will be used immediately to pay back that grant. Uh, the loan, rather. The loan. 50 grand loan. Well, <laughs> 50,312 generic units of currency because of the interest, I'm guessing. So, let's see what happens. The problem with... Why is the danger level going up? There you go. It is fluctuating somewhat. This is decreasing now. Uh, yes, the problem with bringing in the medium prisoners is that we don't have a reception. 
over here, so they are not getting searched. This is a security room, not a reception. Not that it would take much to alter it to a reception, which is something obviously people have suggested. But this is... Well, my intention is to have this as a one-time deal. We're not going to be bringing in prisoners for low, for low and medium risk. Then again, it seems to be going towards that way, doesn't it? Because we do have intake on the other ones. There's some bank loan. I'm going to decrease this bank loan. And probably going to decrease it to the 25 sort of mark. There we go. Back over to prisoners. Uh, sorry, intake. It used to be in prisoners. Medium sex off. Super max is off. Death row and legendary are in. So. Let's see. There's our legendary prisoner. Two legendary prisoners, in fact. And. Do we have any others being brought in there? We don't. Well, there are some legendary prisoners here. Let's go ahead, get two more guards, and one more doctor. Also, programs, guard taser, we've still got people in the queue to pass that, so we, we're going to keep running it. And we want to make sure that none of these traits are problematic. So now that we have all of that on the go, People coming in. Let's activate Dan. Old, reliable Dan. I say old, I don't know his age. Let's have a quick look. Age 32. Not old at all. Uh, served 30.5 years out of his 35 year sentence. His reoffending rate is such that if he was a little bit better, he'd be able to pass parole. But there you are. Would we want him to pass parole? Do we want to keep him here? Because at the end of the day, Informant. Ooh. Uh, no, we definitely don't want to keep him here. And... Darn it. So. We know the traits. I didn't actually catch the traits because it, it is only active for a certain amount of time and then becomes idle again automatically. But, we do have a legendary prisoner. And they are legendary prisoners here. Yeah. Lots of traits. Should be strong, tough, volatile, etc. And I would very much like to transfer them over to Supermax. But I don't have any space in Supermax. I am totally capacitied out. <laughs> so we're going to have to wait for someone to leave, be paroled, be transferred, whatever it happens to be. So we'll see about that. Okay. And... <laughs> There's the... So, this is where we have our Supermax Morgue. Yet, this is where they take them. I really don't know. I do not know. It's taking some time for the guards to escort them in. Remember, a lot of these prisoners have to be escorted over here. They're actually bringing them in here to search, to this reception. So that's actually not too much of a problem. Having one reception here is okay. Having one over here, we don't necessarily need it because they're actually using the only reception possible. That's actually fine. There's potential CI, Paul Welsh. Legendary prisoner, tough, deadly, and quick. We'll recruit that informant. Why not? And see how we get on. We have... 82 maximum security prisoners, but we have 84 capacity. So if I go to transfers, and check out our, I can't see supermax, I tell you what, allow, then review it, we can approve prisoner Palmer here, who is only strong and quick. We approve those, they get moved down to standard risk, well, uh, high risk, and then that guy goes over to over to Supermax. To be fair, we could have just swapped them anywhere, and I've accidentally activated those because of because it was open at the time. 
and I was clicking around that area. Okay, so doing that wouldn't have mattered anyway if we just swapped them around. Right, so I think we will leave it there. Not bad at all. We managed to get more built up on this side. A lot of management and transfer stuff. A lot of the rough edges smoothed over. We're in a better state financially than we were. Overall, pretty happy with that one, although I'm well aware that we haven't got a great amount of building done, especially when it comes to this workshop. And also, none of the grants done. I would have thought that we would have got some more there, but with the new prisoners, admittedly the ones that are apparently still in the reception there, what is going on? There's so many... They're, they're just sitting around. Loads of guards saying they're free. But I'm not seeing it. I'm just going to hire those. I'm just hiring more guards. I need more guards. There's 53 guards. It's overstaffed, but it's the obviously it's the distance. It's a very big facility, and obviously with the bottlenecks of the ferries, which yes, I know many suge many suggestions <laughs> near near uh, demands to change this over, so it is now a uh, bridges bridges across, I just put the, the, the straight walkways. Yeah, it may be something we have to do, but we're fighting. We're fighting for the <laughs> we're fighting for the ferries. We really want the ferries. Anyway, we're going to leave it there for this episode. Next, we will crack on. I would like to build that workshop and get it completed and maybe even make a start over on this side. And there's someone not able to exit that uh, through that large jail door there. And that guard came in, managed to pick that guy up through a wall, and then just dumped him there. And I have no idea why that happened. Anyway, we're going to leave it there. As I said, next episode we'll crack on, continue on with the building. It's good to see that we've got some more transfer stuff, and also we are, as I said, hopefully now in a better state with the amount of prisoners that we have here. We can see that. Actually, there we go. We have the form and teaching as well, so... We may even start to produce some license plates. And why is that door servo not operating? It's because... Don't know. What, is that not connected up? It is connected up. So... I'm guessing it was just busy elsewhere. Right, anyway, leaving it there. Next episode, we'll crack on. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video and the series thus far. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.